Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now today I have got a Primark haul for you. I've been a little bit absent from YouTube purely down to the fact that I've been so busy at work and I have filmed videos for you but they felt a little bit rushed and when I've come back to watch the footage back I've not been very happy about it so I didn't want to just put something out onto YouTube that I didn't feel fully happy about and I've mainly concentrated on my uh, blog. Um, I'll put a little link in the down box below um, so you can go over and check that out. I mainly just focus on fashion posts just because that's the bit that I've got more passion in. I'm not the best at getting the uh, shots of new uh, beauty looks, uh, regimes, so yeah go over and check it out and see what you think but I thought I'd come back to YouTube with a Primark haul now like I said I have filmed this video three times before each time um, I filmed it and I thought oh that's okay and then I've come back and I've tried to edit it all together and it's not been that good and since each time I've filmed it I've been back into Primark and I've put a few bits so I thought oh I'd make a bit more of a longer video for you and you can still pick up all of these pieces which is great so you're not missing out on anything so the first thing I have got is something quite summery and something very different to what I would usually go for so I have got this beautiful printed dress so it's just like this um, now it is very different on than what you would expect it is a very it's not a line it just drops down and it's okay it's not super flattering it goes just below my knee and at first I was a bit like I look like I've just got a, a bin bag on but actually once you tie around this little black tie around the waist then I scrunch it up and make the fabric over overlay um, so I like fold it over the top of where I've uh, pulled it in just above my hips it's created a bit more shape and it looks really nice and it pulls the dress up to above my knee so it's a lot better for the summer months and this is quite out there for me in terms of the print usually I just go for a plain colour or maybe a striped dress but this geometric style with I could, you could say there's a bit of a clash of colour between the pinks but I just think it's really beautiful it is short sleeved um, it's a bit of a scoop wide neck so it just goes across so it's really flattering just skims over your collarbones and it's really nice and then when you ruche it in and cinch it in around the waist it just creates this beautiful shape and it pulls you in around the right areas and it's just perfect length for if you want to wear it for a night out just to an event over the summer for work you could really dress this up as well for a wedding I think this would look beautiful with some nude heels um, a beautiful um, hat or one of them like a nice headband so yeah I got this in Primark I picked it up in a size 12 so I am roughly a 12 14 to go over my hips and it was only 10 pounds Please excuse how pale my skin is to my face because I've got a lot of makeup on and no fake tan. This is the dress. And as you can see it just goes above my knees. I'm able to tie the black thing, the black band around my waist. So as you can see I've pulled quite a bit. So there's a lot of fabric here. I've been able to pull it up to fold it over. I just think it looks really flattering. And it gives it kind of like that two, like the skirt and the top separate look to it. Um, I just think it's really nice. It adds a bit more shape around you rather than just like a sack of a dress just floating down. But yeah, it's quite a high neck. So it goes quite wide, but it's quite high. Um, but yeah, I just thought this was really cute. And as you can see, excuse the little lines, I've had socks on. But as you can see, it would look really nice maybe for a more of a casual evening dress for a wedding. The next thing I got again something I wouldn't tend to go for more is in the colour rather than the style and this is this gorgeous biker jacket it is a suede one and it is a really beautiful like a, a beigey colour um, it's really pretty it's got the long sleeved now it's turned it turns under on the inside but it is all raw edging around the um, around the sleeves 
um, around the shoulders and around the back too. On the inside it is, there's no lining in there so it does look a little messy on the inside but that doesn't matter because you don't see it. It's got the beautiful lapels here, it is all silver hardware and there is the zip that goes across um, the front as well but this type of jacket you don't really um, fasten and it's also got the belt detailing around the bottom too. This did come in a dusky pink as well as this beautiful beige colour but unfortunately they didn't have my size, they only had a size 18 and 20 in that so I will be going back out into Primark and keeping an eye out for a smaller size in that but I just picked this one up. I got it in a 12 so again it's true to size um, so you don't need to downsize, you don't need to go up in a size. I don't fasten it so that's fine, there's not an issue there and it's just really comfortable. I've got more wear out of it the past few weeks than what I thought I would ever have. I mean I've gone for this over my leather jacket any day. Winter I've got loads of coats. Summer I've got my denim jacket. We can only really wear that on the warmer months where my leather jacket kind of like ties me through from spring through till autumn maybe closer into winter if you've got like a nice hoodie underneath but this has been a perfect a jacket not to replace that but to wear it on the other days where I just feel like the leather jacket doesn't quite work so I've, yeah I'm really happy with this I got it in a 12 and I believe this was around the 23 pound mark so yeah I definitely say it's worth picking this up you can also get this in Zara too which I reckon will be about 40 50 quid so yeah if you don't have that type of money go and have a look into Primark and see if you can pick one of these up it is this bike jacket I mean just look how cute it is so again tiny bit cropped I feel like I'm repeating myself a little bit but it's just really cute and um, it's just perfect jacket for the springtime I mean the belt jangling does get a little bit annoying but you know fashion style you can live with that a little bit so yeah I just love how these like shape down really nice so it's super flattering it's a perfect length though you don't want it too long Especially if you're going to pair it with like a nice little floated dress or something. I also have a pair of, let me just get it off the coat hanger, chuck that down there. A pair of black skinny jeans. I've worn these. So apologies that they're a bit creased. May have a few hairs on there from my throw. Um, but yeah, I got this black pair of skinny jeans. They are high waisted. Um, I folded them up at the bottom because they're a bit long but they have, um, they're folded over but they've kind of like got a little bit of a raw edge detail onto them too. So yeah, I really like these. They've got two back pockets um, and then they have got three button detailing down the front and then a zip and two pockets at the front. Not that you can fit much in there as well. These are, well they don't really have make but these are their super skinny jeans and the high waisted ones. I picked these up in a size 12. Now I have never been able to get a size fit myself. It's a delivery. Who's that for? It's not for me is it? It is. It won't be a second. Um, someone's just been to knock on our door. I mean I wasn't expecting the delivery for another two hours but you know that's what happens when you sit down to film. So yeah these black skinny jeans, I'm so shocked I've got myself into a size 12 from Primark. I struggle because I've got a bigger bum and bigger hips. So, so to fit into a pair of skinny jeans where they are really skinny around the knees and going down into the lower leg, I find it really hard to fit there and then fit around my hips as well. So I'm really surprised I've managed to squeeze into these and they're so comfortable too. So yeah, if you're ever in doubt, just try a pair from Primark. I mean, I've not seen this style with like, obviously, the three buttons up here on the waist for a very long time in this. I don't know whether they're bringing in a few of the newer collections or not, but yeah, I really like these and I believe they're about 10 or 12 pounds. I've worn them since and I've lost the receipt, but yeah, 10 or 12 pounds, so it's not going to break the bank if you only get a couple of wear out of them or they don't quite fit. I mean you can always take them back too but yeah I'm really happy with these. I might go back this weekend to pick up a few more. Hopefully they've got them in some other colours too. These are the black skinny jeans. Nice 
little bit high waisted so it gives me a little bit of and sucks in my bit of a belly down there. Um, I've just folded them over so they're a tiny bit cropped above. Um, so a bit like more like an ankle grazer. Um, but yeah, I really like these as you can see the pockets. I mean, they are a little bit stretched because I've put on a bit of weight these past couple of months. But um, yeah, they're just really comfortable. Um, they go over my bum quite nice. And they're really comfortable and I can sit down in them as well without feeling like they're too tight or I'm not breathing, needing to breathe in. So yeah, I really like these. Now the next thing I have got has been making its rounds on social media quite a bit. I picked this up when they'd only just come into store. No one had really got them before. Um, but it is this jumper which says weekend. Vibes. It's a beautiful salmony coral colour. Um, it's just a sweatshirt. Um, it's got the band in the rib around the bottom and around the cuff of the sleeve too, and that's the same around the neck. It's just a really nice slouch jumper. It's a little bit cropped, but you know, you're only rocking it around the house, aren't you? So yeah, I really like this. I got this in size 12. They do do this in other colours but they don't have the weekend vibes bit on the other colours. This is the only colour they do that in. Whether they switch that up a little bit more and do it in different colours as we head further on into spring summer then I'm not too sure. But yeah, I really like this. It's super cosy and it's just nice to wear when you're relaxing in the house. So this was only £5 too. So if you're not going to get much you wear out of it, it's okay because it's only £5. Okay, so this is the really cute summery shirt with the little weekend vibes here. Um, as you can see, it's super loud. I think it's really comfortable. I mean, you can see it is quite more of a cropped. I think with jumpers, I feel like they should be a bit more lower. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I just think it's super cosy. The inside of the fabric is like the fleecier style um it's probably not the right color for my skin tone but i don't think that really matters when you're just gonna be wearing it inside so yeah i really i really like this and for five pounds if i don't wear it that much then it's not too much of an issue and now the last thing i pick up from primark excuse me it's got a little bit of a makeup mark foundation mark on there which i didn't know i had is this beautiful gingham shirt now this i featured in a recent blog post so i'll link it in the description box below i really like this i love the style i love it's monochrome for a start which is perfect gingham has definitely come in as one of the biggest trends this spring and it's definitely only going to get bigger as we go into summer too i just like it because it's super thin but it's very it is more of a thick cottony in regards to there's no stretch in the fabric whatsoever, there's no giving it, but it's really lightweight too, so it's perfect for spring and as you head into the warmer months. I really liked this because you've got the good mix of masculinity with the feminine, feminine? feminine touch to this. So you've got the longer sleeve which just cuffs at the bottom with a single button. So this is great to keep you warmer but if you get a little bit too hot you can roll the sleeves up and then you've got this beautiful peplum detailing at the bottom so it buttons all the way down to the peplum and then it just floats out really beautifully so this is perfect this falls in the perfect place as well just above my hips so it doesn't make me look too big but yeah I really like this it's just super simple so easy to wear but it's so versatile that you can wear it during the day if you're going out shopping but you can dress it up for work too yeah I really like this it, I got it in a size 12 it is a little baggier on me I do kind of wish I'd sized down a little bit and got a 10 just so it's a bit more of a tighter fit but I like it I'm happy with it and I'll get a lot of wear out of it and this was only £13 I think so yeah I really like this this is the gingham blouse just mean just look how cute this is I really like this because it's not like my hips are here so it just like goes in the right place and it sticks up quite a bit you can see there's a bit of bagginess here 
So I could do like maybe taking it in a little bit. So maybe a size down would give me a little bit more shape. But to be fair, I don't mind that. I don't feel too restricted. I just think it's really nice. It's floaty. It's really cute and girly. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. And then the final thing that I've picked up, it's not from Primark. So please forgive me, but I just really wanted to share it with you. And it is this gorgeous, gorgeous blouse from Zara. Oh, now I know what you're thinking. Everyone and his man and dog. Man and dog? Everyone and his dog and cat own this blouse. It's from Zara. It's got this absolutely gorgeous spring leaf and flower embroidery on the front and the back and then it's got like a little um key detail in here so you've got the little cut out there and then it just fastens with a single button and it's got these beautiful frills around the shoulder and it just goes straight down into a long sleeve and then a bit of a random frill detail in here which is longer above the tops of your arms but it goes in and folds under um, on the wrist bit so that's a bit random but I guess it's just the style and then once again it frills out into a beautiful peplum style bottom I just think this is absolutely gorgeous and perfect for the warmer months this was 24 99 so I don't think that's too bad really for such a key staple piece to fit into your wardrobe um, again this is something that everyone owns, it's been making its rounds on social media but it's just so beautiful, you can't help but love it and want to add it to your collection. I've worn this a couple of times, the one thing that I'm not too sure about is the way it cuts here, it just cuts across your bust so it, if you are a bigger bust it might be a little bit unflattering, you could try and get away with it but I really like this and it's going to be great going into the cooler summer days too so yeah I just thought you would appreciate me sharing this with you I love this, I just think it's really girly, proper summery um, it's quite cropped, a little bit cropped again it just sticks out, can you see what I mean by like it cuts across like you bust a little bit, it doesn't just frill out from here which would be a little bit more flattering um, and also these feel like I've got massive shoulders as well um, but I guess you can get away with that um, yeah it's quite a, a paper bag type doll style but looks really nice with skinny jeans too um, and I guess it'd be really nice with a tight skirt as well just to add a bit more shape and show off your curves a bit more but yeah I really like this so that's everything in my haul for you. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I inspired you to go to Primark and spend some well-earned pennies. Um, I mean, after all, it is payday. Or it has been payday for most of us last weekend. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I am going to try my absolute best to film a lot more content for you and to upload it. I also have my blog as well, like I mentioned at the start. So yeah, I'd really love it if you head over to my blog as well, just after watching this and see what it's like and give me a little cheeky follow. I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you next time. Bye!